So what we have here is we have our 100 watt Monport fiber laser and we have the rotary attachment. So things inside of here, we have the laser head itself, we have a rotary axis, and then we also have a vent to suck out fumes. So our rotary axis is in this 3D printed base, and the reason for that is so I can take the rotary axis out and then I can laser multi-tools and, and knives and blades in this area and then put this back in and it's always in the correct spot. I don't have to recalibrate it every single time. So that's a 3D printed thing that it drops into. And what this is holding is it's holding this piece that I designed but I got made. Um, is basically an arbor with a split down the middle with a little bit of a spring to it. And it has a little bump here and the purpose of this is so we can take our blank glass blasted beads and slide them on. And when they slide on, you hear them click into place. So this ensures that they're pushed up against the wall every single time. And that little click makes sure, make sure that it is held against there as it rotates in place. Okay, so it rotates around. So what's happening is we have artwork on our computer. So I come down here. And we have artwork on our computer of all the different types of beads that we offer. Here's the construction one. We have, a, this is our fractal pattern, which is very popular. And what this is doing is it's laid out in a straight strip. So the way that the computer interprets it is it basically is going to lay that out, etch, 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 and then rotate a step, etch, 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 rotate a step. Um, so the one hard thing with our designs is that we try and do them full wrap. So unless it is a piece where it's like the bee on one side and a flower on the other side and they're two separate pieces of artwork, that's fairly easy to do. But if it's topographic or any of the artwork where it actually wraps around the entire bead and has to rejoin, that's where it takes a little bit more setup just to get that correct. Um, so this guy will rotate around and then when it's done, it'll beep and it says it's done and then it's on to the next one. Um, the average laser time is about five minutes per bead, and that just has to do with the quality and what we're, what we're looking for. Okay, so right now we have our topographic bead running. You'll see it lasers, and then it rotates, and then it lasers, and then it rotates. Um, right now I have the vent fan turned off just because it can be a little bit noisy, but typically the vent fan would be on sucking out any of the fumes that are coming off of this. Um, the bead itself is grade five titanium, and then also the arbor, that the bead is on is also grade 5 titanium.